you know? It's like I wouldn't mind if my, all this YouTube and Facebook and all the Twitch and all this stuff would take off. I think if this ever took off, I'm only working three days a week. Yo, guys, hey, gals, it's your favorite Thunder from Dun Under. What's up, every oh, buddy? What's going on, you guys? Play some more MLB Show 22, Thunder's Road of the Show. Let's begin, shall we? What are we doing? Oh, we're hitting? We're the DH. The DH. Can't wait to get called up, bro. Like, I'm ready. Oh, I'm still salty about that zombie game, bro. It ended out of nowhere. Ugh, it's so stupid. Welcome to Welcome to the show. So just about set now. And on the hill today, Jose Buto. And Chris, he's hoping for some better fortune moving forward. Well, I'm looking to see if he can increase the amount of swings and misses and perhaps get more strikeouts because hitters are batting over 300 against him. And that means guys are getting the barrel to the ball. Exit velocity has got to be pretty good when you have that kind of batting average. So he's going to have to find a way to do something different in this one. And that one is lifted in the air. Number 28. Well, wow, we couldn't do shit for that. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. That's out number two. Next is the designated hitter, Eric Carter. Hey, let it rip one time. The designated hitter, Eric Carter. And first offering is fouled off. Number five on second. Hey, Number 16 on over at first with one away. Ground ball Back up the middle. Base hit. The run comes in from second. It's 2-1. Oh, and he's out at third. third. They got him. That's heads up play right there. The outfielder, no. No outs. Runner at first. Eric Carter getting ready to hit. Hey, be patient. Pick one out and drive it, kid. Here we go now. Come on now. What's that? That's a nice little rip. Nice little rip. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. Well, that at bat had a lot of pressure riding on it, so really great job coming through right there. It's got to feel good. Tried to get inside on him, but he was ready for it. Now it's the DH, Eric Carter. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion, and he's in full speed. Ooh! I thought he was going to catch it, bro. Now two runs score, and they're up by three. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Nice line drive to the pull side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Shoink! So two down, and next is the designated hitter, Eric Carter. Hey, your pitch, your pitch. No matter what, when you're playing this kind of rival, to take your game to another level. Taking your game to another level. Uh, warning track foul. No, it's gone. We win, Billy. A little bit of a jam. They know the offense is very capable of putting up runs. Good job. 12-5 is your final. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long. I think we're pitching. 
I think we're pitching. I'm not sure. It is starting pitching. Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Some double-A baseball coming at you. It's the New Hampshire Fisher Cats and the Binghamton Rumble Ponies. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Rumble Ponies. Just about ready to roll. Our starting pitcher in this one, Eric Carter. Singing, he was impressive his last time out. He was outstanding. Complete game shutout. He got some great support from his defense. He's got the swing and miss stuff. Everything working for him. We'll see if he's got it today. So just about set. Now here is number 21. <sighs> Carter back to work. Foul ball there. 98 mile an hour. The pitch. And it's fouled away. Damn, drop that 10 miles an hour. Field two. Stays alive. Staying alive. Staying alive. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Got him with that and nasty knuckle curve, Very baby. Right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Number 54 takes a strike there as he stands at the plate now. Next offering is foul. Oh, two count. Let's go, buddy. No score, just getting started, top of the first. On the ground, Ritter handles the chance, whips it to first on the run. Quick start to this afternoon's action, two gone. Ooh, gave that to me. Here's the 0-2. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. End of a half inning of play. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. All right. Back out there. And now the DH, number 36. Number 36. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. And here it comes. And that one fouled off. And the pitch. Swing oh. this, and he got him. One out. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Number 20. And now the first baseman, number 20. Yeah, he swings and 96 on the gun. Let's go, Thunder Carter. Yeah, and he's down 0 2 as he swings through it. Quickly in an 0 2 count, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in play somewhere, then you got a chance. Two up, two down at the top of the second. Two outs, base is empty. And here's the catcher, Chris Beck. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. Next offering is foul back. Righty delivers. Next offering is outside. What about him playing another position on defense, one that would require a little more range? Absolutely, and I think if push came to shove where they had to make a, a move during a game, 
could surprise a lot of people. You might even be able to put him in center field. Really nice job of two strike hitting in that at bat. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. <laughs> And a bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. Got him. <laughs> now to the bottom of the second. We're tied. Back here at the ballpark. Here's the third baseman, number 31. The right-hander back to work. And that's through there for a strike. First pitch strike in. Let's go. O2 hole. Hey, and a pitch. Gonna count one and two. Ring him up. Got him swinging. Lead off hitter gone in the Took four third. strikes Man, to strike really him out. Ability to bounce back right there after not getting a call. He probably should have gotten. He didn't let it affect his focus. And he came back with another good pitch to get him swinging. And stepping in is the speedy number 18. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Plays it first now. Next offering is fouled back. Top of the third, no score. Swings and misses. One and two. One and, two. and a foul ball. He stays alive. The pitch stays alive. And that one in the air center field. This looks like extra bases. Throw to second, not in time. He's there easily. Gotta love the resiliency he's shown in that at bat, battling with two strikes. Just a very nice approach and swing right there to use the big part of the I cannot field. believe Everything he could not catch time. that he ball. Balanced through the entire swing and just launched that one into center. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Man at second. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Two out. Go sit out. So digging in, number 54. number 54. And a foul ball, third base side. Runner at second, two down. That one misses, and one and one. Well, the best way to shake off yesterday's struggles is to get on the board early. They've got a guy in scoring position. They've got to find a way here to get him in. Surprised he fouled that pitch off. Got him. And that is that. We move on. Shit down, buddy. Welcome back. Here's the second baseman. Number 25. Carter back to work. And there's Hoo -yah. <laughs> at the top of the order here. You want to get it on. See if you can get a stolen base. Maybe get around the bases. Pick up a run. At the belt and fires. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff, man. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there, at least to foul something off, extend that at bat. And here is number 36. 36 foul is going to go down as a 63. Down, base is empty. And that one fouled off. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. And he'll be beating himself up on the way back to the dugout. Got a pitch to hit and just couldn't get to it. I think that slider really caught way more of the plate than it was supposed to. Number 20, the next to hit. First offering, and it just misses. Hey, two here. Swing and a miss. And the count is one and one. Right hander kicks deals. Late that time. 99 on the gun. Whoa. Right there. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. The Knuckle curve. On now to the bottom of the fourth. We're tied. 
New inning getting started. And now the catcher comes up to him. Chris Beck. The pitch. And there's a foul ball. Nice rip, kid. Comes up empty oh, on the two. swing. 0 oh, 2 now. Beck tries to oh. hold up, appeal to first. He did not go around. Put him away. Kicks and deals. Right here. here you go now. Out towards left center, Ramirez. Sizes this one up. He's got it. One up, one down. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Number 28, batting for the second time. What do you say? Strike one. <laughs> oh, and two as he waves at that oh, one. Well, he just threw that fastball by him, elevated, and if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. And that's a base hit. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Now, here is number 31. That missed. That's and the, the first pitch misses for ball one. One ball, no number 28 runner, leads off first runner. with one away. Yeah. Here comes the pitch. Runner breaks for second. Throw, save! That was close, but StatCast shows us why he so often seems to be on the safe side of these steal attempts, Chris. Yeah, you see that plus speed, and he needed every last bit of it to swipe that bag. Such a threat on the bases. Kicks and fires. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. He makes the grab. Out number two. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder. Number 18. First pitch. Ooh, he gave me that corner. Painted it black. Next offering is in for a strike. Quickly down 0-2 in the count. I think you got to choke up a little bit, spread out the feet. You don't know what the velocity or the location of this next pitch is going to be. The 0-2. And that one wrapped foul. Two outs and one in scoring position. The next no, offering miss. misses. That's and that's ball one. Ground ball to the right side. Not in time, and he reaches safely. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. Got a home right here. Let's go. And the righty deals. Yeah. There's a strike. 0-2. Oh Stays alive. Corners are occupied with two down. Damn it. Couldn't put him away. Two outs here. Two outs. Chases that one out of the zone. Huge strike out there. Woo! Top of the sixth inning. Now it's the shortstop, number 54. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up. Yeah, <laughs> I like it. I like that dude's fucking strike. Yeah. Next pitch has popped up. Singer brings it in. One down. <laughs> Now it's the second baseman, number 25. Swing and a pop-up. Ritter settles underneath it. I got it, I got it, I got it. And puts the squeeze on that one. And a couple of quick outs. And now, number 36. And the first offering is not close. Well, as good as things can be, it can be a tough day at the office, even for the skippers. Seeing the offense just sputter, not able to get anything going. A little out front, swings through it. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing. 
A swing and a miss. That retires the side. And that'll do it. Retired the side. And welcome back. Top of inning number seven. And here's the first baseman, number 20. First pitch just misses. One and oh. In the air, right field, number 16 gets under it, and there's one down. One down. Dude, I'm still and salty now, about that Chris fucking Beck. man, dude. Mm. Fought off foul. Here you go, guys. Let's the go. pitch. In the air, out to center. Tracks it down for the out. Two down. So two down now, and here is number 28. In there, and it's 0-1. Hi. <laughs> Oh, you went fishing and come up empty. Not a swing you want to watch again. Righty to the plate. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Here we go now. Let's go. Line, and that's a base hit. Good two strike hitting right there, Boog. A bit of a lost art for some, so that was nicely done to beat the odds. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Bounce to the left side. Sends it to first. And that is that. And we're done. Welcome back. And a new arm on the mound to start the eight. Colin Holderman. 2 nothing. your final here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew. Here Did really good. I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us. Designated hitter. And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with. Damn, I'm 538 on the road, 404 at home. I want to hit dingers. <laughs> I love how I said that and I hit one. <laughs> Empty one away. Now it's the DH, Eric Carter. I want to hear dingers. Ripped on a line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two away now. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, will be a very positive sign. Two outs, runner at first. Now it's going to be Eric Carter. One for two. Fouled off. He was late. Well, Boog, after watching the first inning of this one, you would not have expected that this pitcher would be in such a groove. It's still in the ball game at this point. Hey, nice That's a base go, hit. That's a rip. They stopped the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. That ball was blasted, Boog. And as broadcasters, we can go weeks without seeing a ball hit 115 miles per hour, which is what StatCast tells us there. Man, he really got the bat through the zone. Eric Carter digs in now. 
What a season it's been for him. He has supplied a lot of power and that average. Ripped into right center. That's a double. The extra bases. Runner around third in to score. A second scores as well. It's 9-9. There we go. Well, that may end up being an at-bat we go back to later on when this game is over. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced. And he stayed it balanced well and squared it up ask. for a now, double. A huge at-bat in this game coming up. Back here at the ballpark. Now, Eric Carter. And it may be a long shot, but a triple here will give him the cycle. The wind of the pitch. Bounce to third. That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. Off to a good start with a leadoff dot. Just an absolute slugfest. Not a good day to be a pitcher. There are going to be a lot of sore necks. Guys turning left, turning right. Balls. Cannot believe we lost that. I did good though. Look at that. Home run, single, double, single. I'm a contributor. That's what I do. This is a guy we've talked about before, and he's getting a lot more attention lately, really rising up the prospect ranks. Mike Lowell is with me. Mike, you went from 20th round pick to top 100 prospect to a four-time MLB All-Star. What is it like when you start getting more attention as a prospect? Well, it's a good feeling because you know you're doing something right, and the organization and people in the industry are really taking notice. However, I think it comes with an added pressure, and how you deal with that pressure, I think, really determines your future, short-term and long-term. For me specifically, I, I felt like, okay, the attention is great, but I got to really focus on what I've been doing that got me to this point. So I almost wanted to tune it out, focus on my, my craft, focus on my preparation for each game and try to maintain that consistency. So that good news that I got and those good numbers I was putting up could basically keep, keep that wave rolling a little bit so I can get either to the next level or make it to the big leagues or sustain myself in the big leagues. We are away. Oh, I'm ready for a call up, bruh. It may not happen until next season, though. Where am I call up? And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Double-A Baseball on the show, coming your way. It's the Binghamton Rumble Ponies and the Bowie Bay Sox. And now, your Bowie All right, we'll be back Bay to get this one started after this. Just about set to go now. Getting the nod on the mound, Alex Wells. What do we have on him? Oh, you know this guy wants to be better than that. I mean, the ERA is bloated. He understands that he's got to put his team in a better position to win ball games. And at this point, you have to forget about your own individual stats, and you have to go out there and attack and try to get that W. And if you do that, you'll look up. I try to hit it out. That ERA will <laughs> have dropped over time. Welcome back. On to the third inning. Now the third baseman, Eric Carter. 
Wells back to work. Rips that one to right. Can't get there. Should be extra bases. Oh, he throws it away. And his hitting streak continues. There have been almost no bad days for him in the past month. This guy's running hot, Boog, and people around the league are paying serious attention to this streak now, especially the pitchers that are trying to slow him down. And now Eric Carter. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. This one in the air center field. Ah. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Could drive in the run because I'm a failure. Back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Reed Trimble. Trimble. On the ground to third. Carter picks it up. Whips it to first. Gets him easily, ends the inning. Eric Carter will hit next. Now hey, see you, drive it. See you drive it. Let's go, buddy. And now. Give me something good to hit. Swing and that ball smashed oh, out of line. Oh. And that is that. Made it look like it was going to go out again. I was like, what? Another outing, another save. That's his 20th of the season, and this was a good example of why they rely on him so heavily in these close games. This one finishes with a final of 7-4. to four. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon. John Chambi. Gosh, that toy ties fast. Jesus. Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Some double-A baseball coming at you. It's the Bears it will be and tough. the Bowie and the Bowie Bay Sox. Bowie Bay Sox. All right, first pitch coming up. Our starter in this one, number 24. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight. Ripped. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> ooh, ooh. <laughs> Digging in, Eric Carter. He's already homered here in this one. Sure have. Would love another one. Up the middle. It's off his chest. In there safely. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. And now here is... Oh, they counted it as a hit? Nice 
nice warm day here. Good baseball weather. Does that change anything, Chris, especially for the hitters? Absolutely. You feel so much more. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. And he beats it. He's safe. Safe. And welcome back. Leading off, Eric Carter. Leading off, the third baseman, Eric. The wide to kick the pitch. Three for three. Hit hard on the ground to short. Hey, you got me this time. Throws to first. He's out. Lead off man retired in the sixth. Back here at the ballpark. Here's the third baseman, Eric Carter. Leading off, the third baseman, Eric Carter. And the pitch. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. Back there. Makes the catch up against the wall. Nice catch. Well, this is kind of wild, sloppy game. Close finish. A lot of errors. Defense made this one really unpredictable. But they'll take the win. They'll try to clean things up defensively for the next one. Close one here today. And your final 5-4. Designated hitter. To be honest, I don't mind being a designated hitter. You know? It's like I wouldn't mind if my, all this YouTube and Facebook and all this Twitch and all this stuff would take off. I think if this ever took off, I'm only working three days a week. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Maybe four days a week. Just about ready for baseball. Pitching in our game today, number 75. What do you got on him, Chris? Well, coming into this game, hitters are batting under 250 against this starting pitcher. So it just shows you how effective he's been. He's been able to move his pitches around. Well, he's under it to make the catch in center. And, and he's the out. Yeah, your pitch right and here. next is the designated hitter, Eric Carter. He's 0 for 1. Now back, designated hitter, Eric <laughs> Let her rip. Get out, ball. Twitter. base and now Eric Carter Come on, let, it fly. let a rip Billy let a rip Thunder show him show him why your name's Thunder man off the batter's eye again Hitting ding dongs is what I do. And now the DH, Eric Carter. Get your pitch up there. Come on now. Oh, yeah. Damn, we're losing? Come on now. Line drive, base hit. Here comes the runner. Play at the plate. Safe. And it's a one run ball game. And it's a 7 6 game. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. 
All set for the start of the inning. Now it's the DH, Eric Carter. Make it three home runs. Let's make it three home runs. Here comes a pitch. There's a line drive to left field. Could be extra bases. Oh, I wish I was faster. That would have been a triple, man. These guys today are so great with handling velocity. They're seeing high speeds day after day, and a nice job of turning that one around. Well, you take a tie ball game into the ninth on the road, you know that you've got some work to do. you got to score, but then you've also got to get three outs in the bottom half of that inning. They did just that today. Very well played ball game. Get this win on the road. Everybody's happy with the We're w. pitching now. Today, nine, eight. 